Yo, what's going on guys? We have a Sirimoto N1 Clutch Master Cylinder upgrade kit for the 10th gen Civic models, six-speed manual transmissions only. And uh, we're gonna show you what the kit is, what it includes, what it replaces, and why you'd want it. Hey, what's going on guys? It's JP from Edge Autosport here. Thanks so much for tuning in. We've got the Clutch Master Cylinder Upgrade Kit here from Siri Moto, the N1 uh, Master Cylinder Kit. And this thing is a, is a direct replacement for the stock Master Cylinder. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about why you'd wanna do that upgrade and, and what the heck this thing is all about. If you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell button to get notifications if you wanna keep getting notified of when we post new videos. We've been doing a lot of 10th gen Civic stuff. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and, uh, and we're gonna keep doing more. So uh, anyway, if you have any questions or comments also, put them in the comments section. We'll get back to you really quickly. Um, so anyway, this is the N1 uh, master cylinder kit in this box. I actually have the stock master cylinder in front of me right here. I will go over the differences once I get this thing open. All right, so we've got the kit opened up in front of us here, and uh, I'll go over what is included in the kit. First of all, of course, you got the master cylinder right here that is uh, that is included. That's the new one. It looks very much like factory. Honestly, I, you know, I know that there's some master cylinder upgrades out there for a lot of different Civics. I wouldn't doubt it if this is an OEM or an OEM replacement for a different model year. But uh, so it looks kind of like OE replacement style, but it is a different different master cylinder altogether. New gasket uh, for the flange that goes to the firewall. You've got a banjo bolt, a couple crush washers, a couple mounting uh, brackets right here. You've got the bracket that goes onto the clutch pedal right here and a new pin, a uh, new um, cotter pin for, uh, for the replacement of the pin that connects the pedal to the, to the master cylinder. And then of course a new uh, braided stainless steel line, which is coated black, which is really nice. So this will stay nice and clean. And this replaces the entire line. The, the factory line is really like a three piece system. It goes from hard line to uh, soft line or the rubber line, and then to another hard line to the slave cylinder. This is gonna replace the entire line uh, and turn it into all one line, which is really nice. This is relatively easy to install. It's nothing crazy. The brake fluid is kind of a, a pain to deal with because it causes a little bit of a mess, but if you're careful, it's not too bad. This is a relatively simple install. So to get, uh, to get going on what this thing is, this is the slave uh, or the clutch line. This is all stainless braided, like I said. This is gonna be much better than the stock setup because that, that middle line that's rubber, you know, that flexes and expands under pressure, and this is not gonna do that nearly as much, if at all. Uh, this is gonna create a much more direct path for the fluid to just transfer its pressure to the slave cylinder. So this is gonna be a much nicer line setup than the factory one. The factory one has some hard lines in it, uh, but this is a hard line, you know, as close as you can get to a hard line um, without, uh, you know, through the whole way from the master all the way to the slave. So much better line there. And I do like the fact that it's a banjo fitting on the top. Banjo fittings are just a little bit easier to deal with and tighten down and loosen and all that stuff. Um, so, so I like that, that uh, side of things here. So here's the banjo fitting right here. Comes with everything you need to hook it up to the master. These brackets replace the brackets that the factory line goes through. So the factory line where it connects the hard line to the, to, to the rubber line and then the rubber line back to another hard line, there's a couple brackets right underneath the intake. These replace those brackets and hold the line nice and secure. So that is, uh, that's taken care of. And then this is the, um, the bracket here that attaches to the pedal. You just screw this on. And this is ultimately just as adjustable as the factory uh, master cylinder and clutch pedal, you know, assembly together, just as adjustable as the stock one. So you can adjust it to where you like the pedal to, how long you like it to throw and where you like it to sit. This adjusts the same exact way. So I have both the upgraded master cylinder here on my left, on your right, right here. And then I have the factory master cylinder right here. And you can see that the obvious difference is this diaphragm right here. This is a metal plate that covers Basically, it's a little reservoir inside of there where fluid sits 
and it's kind of just a big pocket where the fluid can kind of, I'm assuming just absorb some vibration and some, just some kind of, just as the fluid moves, it absorbs some of that energy so that it kind of makes the pedal feel a little bit softer, a little bit smoother. At the end of the day, when you have a stiff clutch or when you have a high performance application and you're, you're going around a racetrack or you're trying to shift faster, you really need as direct of a path for the fluid to flow as possible. And for it to flow into a kind of a larger reservoir area and then flow back through the line, it's really not ideal for the best feel and the best you know clutch pedal actuation. So uh, that's why you replace it with just this a little bit more basic, more straightforward, direct flow master cylinder. And uh, it just, it's just a better feel, better, better pedal movement uh, and line movement, fluid movement for a performance application. So that's why you do it. Again, all the flanges and everything are gonna fit directly, just like the stock ones. So it's a direct replacement. And just in case you don't 100% know what you're doing, Sirimoto does include uh, some installation instructions. Again, like I said, it's pretty straightforward. You do need to get inside of the car underneath the driver's side footwell to do this. Loosen a couple nuts on there so that it can back out of there and you can take it out of the engine bay. But there are some pretty clear instructions here. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments below. We'd be glad to help and uh, we appreciate you watching this video. We'll see you later.